Hi there, it's Mariana. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you guys my bullet journal setup for 2019. This is the first time I'm doing a bullet journal, so I chose a very simple and minimalistic design to it because I knew I wouldn't have a lot of time when my classes start, which is going to happen in March. So I wanted to stick with something that I could do during my classes. Also, uh, I chose this notebook. That's a Brazilian notebook from a brand called Cicero. It's the equivalent to the Moleskine in the United States, but I think the quality is a little bit below because it's a little bit cheaper also. And the pages in this notebook are very thin, so they're not very good for painting or for pens that are very inky or water, stuff like that. So starting off, I'm just going to open here and the first page is the classic lost notebook page. So it's the page, if I lose my notebook and some someone finds it, it has all my details, uh, my contact details. And in the last line here, it says the reward for the person who finds it. So I just put a hug because hugs are amazing and that's enough, you know. Now for the first page here, uh, it's actually not an official page of my bullet journal. It's just a reference page. When I was doing, uh, I was planning what I was going to put in my bullet journal. So the actual first pages are the key page and the art for 2019 page. The keys, of course, is very uh, classic and it's very similar to the other keys from other people on Pinterest and Instagram. In the art, I chose a specific topic for this year. So I chose the C. So everything related to the C is going to be in here this year. And each month is going to have a specific thing from the C. An animal or an object or something that has that is in the C. And I also chose a quote that basically represents my life. The quote says, sometimes in the waves of change, we find our true direction. And to me, that means that sometimes we don't know where we're going with, with our life, but we just keep going and at some point we're going to end up in the right place. And that was exactly what happened to me when I was choosing my college and choosing what I was going to study in college. And it's probably going to happen when I'm going to choose my job. So I keep doing that because it's going right. Now the next pages are actually reference pages. The left page is reference for the sizes. So halves and quarters and thirds and stuff like that. It's, it helps me a lot to set up the next pages. And the page on the right is actually for the handwritten things, styles I'm going to put in my bullet journal. Now, for the ear page we have here, it's very simple, very minimalistic. I wanted to put a page for the months and also for the events for each month. So I found this, this specific design on Pinterest and I thought it was really nice, very simple. And I put it here with some changes and that's how it ended up being. And I really liked it. I think it's really helpful, simple and easy to look at. Now, I have now my pages for the goals and YouTube ideas. My goals, I have plenty of goals for 2019 and each goal has a specific uh, topic to it. And you can see that some topics are not filled in properly. That's because as we go along the year, I'll put more goals to reach by the end of the year. So actually in the end of the year, I'll have more goals than I have now. I know it's a little bit strange, but that's how I do things. And now for the YouTube ideas page, this is actually a page for me to just have reference for the first videos. So these are just the first videos I'm gonna make for my YouTube channel. So just so I don't get lost. And once I reach the end of this list, I'm actually going to put um, a separate notebook for the channel. And we have here the future log. Uh, this page, I, I think these pages are very helpful, especially for classes. So I'm going to put all my exams on these pages and important dates, dates like traveling dates and um, holidays as well. And it's basically very nice, very simple, very minimalistic, black and white, very, very classy. Now, I love trackers. I made a bunch of trackers for this bullet journal. And one of these trackers is my mood tracker. I really love this mood tracker because it has a lot of different moods. And also, it, it you can express your mood every single day. 
So by the end of the year, I'm going to look back into this um, tracker and see how the year actually went to me. So I'll think and I will reflect about what made me happy and why was this a good year or a bad year for me. And on the side, we have the period tracker. I didn't want just a simple, boring period tracker. So I decided to put moon faces as well. I mean, why not? It looks beautiful. And I thought it was fun. Moving on to the next page, we have my weather tracker. I decided to make this page simply because I really wanted to see how the weather was during the year. Because last year I felt really cold during winter and no one else remembered it being really cold. So I want proof to show to my friends that it was really cold or really windy or really rainy or something like that. Right now we are in summer, so it's basically just sunny every day. And the most exciting page of this bullet journal is this hair care page. Because one of my goals for 2019 was to actually take care of my hair properly. So this hair care page is essentially my hair for 2019. So I schedule absolutely everything from hair washing to cutting to treatments to coloring, everything, everything is in this tracker. So all I have to do is just look at it and then I won't forget to do stuff and my hair it will probably look much better by the end of the year. Now, the next page is the places I have been and places I want to go. Again, we are in January, so I have not been anywhere aside from my hometown. That's why it's all blank. And the places I want to go is also very empty because I'll actually fill it in along the way. Right now, I only have Portugal. And again, I want to go to a lot of places, but I want to be realistic here. So I'll only put places that I can probably go. Now, last year I was very obsessed with plants. So I got five plants from my room. These are the plants down here that you can see. And I really wanted to take good care of them and I didn't want them to die. So I actually made a little calendar for them. So here I put every little thing I needed to do in order for them to grow healthily and not to die. And on the left side, I have a little calendar that I have to fit in with uh, dates, important dates like uh, changing soil or adding something to them and stuff like that. And now to the last page, it's actually empty because it's my timetable page, but my class is only starting in March, so I don't have my class's timetable yet. So when I do, I'll put it in. And also we have the cover page for January, but we're not going to talk about that in this video so i wait for you guys next video bye bye thanks for watching leave your like if you liked it and if you didn't like it leave your like as well and subscribe to my channel to see the next video about january bullet journal and comment down below what you thought about this video